Welcome, Jackie Maloof. Well, it's really a party today because not only are we making a fantastic meal, but we have Adam Pascal and Jesse L. Martin. All right. Yay! Welcome, guys. And I know you guys are going to get up there and cook in a second. So. Eat, eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're going to help me cook. All right. Uh, come on. You got, and I know you're definitely going to help me cook. I'm going right? to help. All right. <laughs> He's serious. <laughs> I brought so my what are we making? <laughs> uh, we're making venison today. Okay. Love venison. You know, some people don't want to eat venison. They don't like the idea of it, but it's really delicious. And it's not, it doesn't have that gamey flavor that people think that it has. Maybe years and years ago, it was like that, but now venison... Venison coming from New Zealand. It's, it's mostly farm-raised. It's mostly farm-raised, so it's got really great flavor, and it's really low in fat. It's better for you than, like, eating beef or, um, you know, pork or, you know, things that have lots of fat in it. Really, really delicious. Easy to cook. I'm going to dispel all your fears about venison today. Okay. All right? So you guys ready to do this? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. All right. So How's the furniture? Nice and comfy? Okay. <laughs> what is juniper? What is juniper? Juniper is a very important thing. It is. Smell it. Wow. What does it smell like? It smells like bath stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You want to have a juniper candle now, right? Yes. To take bath by. Yes. Juniper actually, they make gin from juniper berries. Oh. That's, you know, it's like they, they make, uh, you know, vodka from potatoes. They make um, gin from juniper berries. They smell delicious. Hey, check these out. I know Renat is a big gin drinker, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta know you know where what you should do? From, you know? Here, this is what you do. Hold this on. Okay. Hold on, this, Jackie. Yeah. Just kind of like rub mm. them in your, in your hands okay. like this, okay. and it will really release the flavor. Okay, hey, you guys. Just, you know what? At a party, wow. pass out the juniper berries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mix up the crowd. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, boy. We, we try and keep the drug oh, yeah. references to a minimum, but That's sometimes cool. they just happen. We'll try anything here at Hot <laughs> Off the Grill. Okay. So, this is venison. It is. This it is looks a, like rack of lamb. Well, um, if you want it to be rack of lamb, it'll be rack of but lamb. But you know what I mean? It has, it's, it's got that kind of very, kind of rustic, very primeval. Well, this is you actually Frankie. Frankie uh, the Butcher, everyone. Frankie the Butcher. How are you? <laughs> you know, Jesse, you got to bring your own butcher to the party, just in case you have any questions. You know, I have a question. I'm his butcher. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're the butcher. Where does the word venison come from? Where does it come from? He doesn't know that. <laughs> he just cuts he it. Might. comes from deer. Okay, guys, this is my show. Uh, you know, talk about venison. All right. Well, basically, venison, what it is, it's deer meat. Right. You know, and uh, this particular venison is imported from New Zealand, and it's the rack of venison, which if it was lamb, it'd be a rack of lamb. You know. See? I wasn't and, so yeah, far off, was I? Very you know, smart. Frankie, the nose. <laughs> like he said, it used to have a gamey, gamey taste. And now it's like a, a little bit sweeter. And uh, they don't grow it the way they used to. I mean, a lot of years ago, it used to run wild. Nobody really thought about cooking venison. And um, around, now it's November, an around November, a lot of people in America, New York State, whatever, they, they go hunting. And they used to bring venison to my store, dear me. And I used to cut it up for them, make the racks, the legs. And then with all the the less tender of meat, I used to make venison sausage, which is delicious. Oh, my Gotta God. Got to do that one day. Thanks a lot. And that's it, man. All right. Thank you. Is this port that you're putting in there? I'm making a drink. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, actually, uh, we, we're using the rack, right, which is like the, the loin with the boat on it. Or you can buy, you can buy like, leg of venison, which we use sometimes, which is really a great product, too. Really almost no fat in it. Um, you can buy the tenderloins of venison as well, right? Anything else that you might use? Actually, you know what? I saw that you can get the asobuco or the shanks of venison uh -huh. and cook it really slowly, almost like you're cooking like veal asobuco or lamb shanks. Same thing with venison. And the big thing with venison also is uh, venison stew. Yeah, right, venison Lots. stew, right. See? That's why I need you here. Forget about it. <laughs> you're the man. Okay. Yes. What's that? Is venison more expensive? Venison is a little more expensive, especially when you get into cuts like this, you know, rack, or loin or tenderloin. It's like anything else, like the filet mignon of, of the deer, you know? Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, leg is really, it works really well, too. It's about but you know what? Since you're here today, Jesse and Adam, we got you the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, we don't play around. I appreciate it. Okay, uh, let's make the marinade. Because, you know, I think venison could use a little marinade, just, you know, not a lot, just a little bit. We're gonna take some port, some fortified, you know, Port is fortified wine. Wine is a little sweet. A little gin, just to stay within the... the flavor of the juniper berry. You know, what you should really do is 
while you're making the marinade, you like make yourself a drink too. Oh, so you have a little I gin. I can't drink gin. Bad okay. high school memories. Gin, bad, bad gin. Kool Aid and gin, bad. <laughs> We're gonna take some uh, some juniper berries. Put this in as well for some added juniper flavor. I had some herbs here. Oh, here they are. Some fresh thyme. Or you can use things like sage or... You can put stems and all in there, right? Absolutely. Just go on in. And then all you do is, you know, mix this around. Just wooden spoon. This is a really simple marinade. Put this in a casserole dish and just pour it right over the venison. Bobby, do you need to poke the meat at all or no. make any kind of... No. Just leave it just like that. Okay. And you don't want to marinate this for too long. I have one that's marinated in the refrigerator. How long is not too long? About an hour and a half. Okay. Whoa. Watch out. All right. Now, the idea here is to take a towel and just make sure you pat it dry. Okay? Because we want to get a nice sear on this. We're going to put this right in this pan to get it nice and seared. Oh. A little bit of olive oil. You getting hungry? Uh, yes. Very hot pan. Okay. Whoops. Knock the gin over. <laughs> See, this is why we don't have pepper. gin on the set. <laughs> this is exactly why. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this right in the pan. Oh, go, So we baby. get some nice sear on it. Yeah. It's good. All right, we're going to let this sear on one side. We'll turn it over. When we come back, we got Jesse coming up here to cook with me. We're going to make some sweet potatoes. So stay tuned right here, hot off the grill. And Adam, you're getting up there, too. Don't you try it. The grill. Well, today we are making pan roasted venison with a cranberry and Mexican cinnamon sauce. And Jesse, we're making whipped sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. From Alan McVeigh, Jesse L. Martin, everybody. Yay! Can I see that uh, stir in the sweet potatoes? Yeah, <laughs> sweet potatoes. That was such a this sweet is, this face. This is the, the cranberry thing, right? Yeah, we're not up to that yet. Keep stirring. The thing. We got. <laughs> I just want to show you that we, you know, we seared the venison in the pan. Now we're going to put it in the oven. You keep stirring. I'm stirring. And uh, 450 degrees. Now, remember, there's not a lot of fat in this. We want to cook it for like, uh, I don't know, maybe about 12, 13 minutes, and then we're going to check it. We don't want to overcook it. So stay tuned. Bobby, All right. Jesse's devil dipping with All right. the... Mm -hmm. All right, Jess. <laughs> yes, this is the sauce. Go ahead. This is an action sequence. All right. Um, I'm going to walk you through this. Walk me through. I'm going to stir for you. So put some port in. Put some pork. Yeah, I'll tell you no what. No need to measure, right? We just, do not measure you here. Just put it up in there. All right, a little bit more. A little bit more. That's, That's cool. Good. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, a little cranberry juice. A little cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is going to add some sweetness. All of it. All of it. There we go. Cranberry juice is going to add a little sweetness. It's going to give it the sauce a good base. Some chicken, chicken stock, chicken broth. Chicken, 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 that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> You're going to be taking the sauce over, so you can do whatever okay. you want. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to have some spices in here. We have some, uh, some clove. Oh, no, I'm sorry, allspice. Right in. Do you know how many spices there are in allspice? This is the million all dollar question. They're all in there. It's one spice. It's one spice. It's called allspice. It's Why do they question. call it allspice? Here? I don't know. Just because it <laughs> serves all purposes? Hey, uh, Frankie the Butcher, why do they call it allspice? <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's now, this last spice. ingredient, you can put that in there. That's Mexican cinnamon. That's what this looks like. Mm. It's much bigger. It's almost, it almost looks like, you know, it's bark. It actually comes from Canela. inside the bark of a tree. It's got like this sort of vanilla cinnamon flavor. Bobby, do you want to grind good, that cool. up before you put that in the sauce? Or you, you can grind it, right it and actually, since we're going to strain the sauce, you can actually just put it in a hole like this. Right. All right, and we'll come out later. Yeah, so you're a single guy cooking. Class. Everybody have canela. Adam, yeah. have some canela. Oh, thank you. All right, so you, you want to let that reduce for a while. You know, you want to let it cook, simmer. You want to let all the flavors come together, maybe for like about an hour. Reduce so it good. down. And then this is what it's going to look like. You're going to strain it out. All right, you get... You start with a lot of sauce and you get a little sauce, okay? And we're going to take a little bit of butter, just a little bit. I'm going to stir this in. Here, now you, you uh, I need a whisk. We got a whisk around here? Is that? Very nice. That's a whisk, right? Yeah. Quickly, you can. <laughs> stir this one now. All right. Jesse, you were nervous about coming on the show. I was, because I, I, you know, I, first of all, let me tell you, I don't know how to cook. At all, like with more than two ingredients, like yeah, but pasta you... and sauce. <laughs> and, and... Yeah, but you, play, you were telling me before that you uh, you actually played a chef in a movie, I right? Did. Called Restaurant. I did. And he says he claims that he made a couple of steaks. He made 
some peach melvin and you said everybody ate it everybody did eat it but i swear know, they did okay here's the bad news what? the crew is always hungry <laughs> <laughs> these guys will eat anything well that's, that's true man but they ate it and, and, every, and that's every, all that counts everybody survived nobody got sick they actually thanked me because you know i learned that little trick about Doing medium well and all that stuff mm -hmm. with the little... With the cut just touching your, your finger and yeah, everything? Yeah, yeah. yeah, That doesn't work. I thought I was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. Now we're going to add some cranberries to this. Cranberries. You see, the butter just adds a little, added a little foundation to the sauce. So we're starting to get a little thick. So do we want all of these in I there? want them all in there. Okay, go. there we go. All right. We're going to let this cook for a little while. How's, how's he doing? I'm doing all right. No, he's doing good. He's doing good. <laughs> Is he? Great. I now, approve of everything you're doing. Now, you're, you're, you like to cook in the kitchen, right? I do. Oh, yeah. We're going to get you up here in a, in a few minutes, but I okay. know you were telling me before that you eat a Mesa grill sometimes. I eat there as, as often as I can. I love it there. I've hey, never eaten a Mesa grill. See, uh -huh. okay. Can you hook me up? Anyway, you want to come up here? Come on up. Mountain Joe's, I eat everywhere. Okay. Stay tuned, everybody, because now my good friend Adam, who eats in my restaurants, is going to be up here <laughs> cooking with us. <laughs> We're gonna make some uh, whipped sweet potatoes. We got the cranberry sauce here. The venison, venison is in the oven. Can you say that twice? Venison is. In <laughs> Don't you guys have a venison song? Mm. <laughs> We're gonna sing the venison song when we come back, you guys. Right here, hot off the grill. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, Frankie, what do you think? It smells delicious. Looks good. We, we took this out of the oven, put it on a plate. It's really important when you when you take any kind of meat that you had in the oven, you want to take it out and let it rest for a few minutes. Does anybody know why? Why, Bobby? Why? why? Right. Steph, do you know? The juices don't all come out and be dry. You want to be nice and moist and tender. Right, so that the juices stay in the meat because they cool down a little bit instead mm -hmm. of if they're hot, they just kind of run. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Steph. All right, so we got the venison done. Hey, you know. All right, you guys, finish up. I'm ready for you guys. Well, Jackie, what's going on? Bobby, typically at a party, we've got the guys on one side. It's like a high school dance, and the girls are over at the table. <laughs> and we're going to talk about potpourri for a second here. Mm -hmm. um, here. Okay, you haven't started cooking yet, so your apartment just smells like an apartment. You want to make it smell homey and warm and nostalgic, right, Rachel? Yes, this is absolutely. Rachel, this is Janine. Hello. And <laughs> we're going to do some karaoke later, right? Yes. Okay, so what you do is you take a pot of boiling water, take that old lemon or that old lime or half a piece of citrus you've got in your refrigerator, you don't know what to do with it, take some fresh cinnamon or some cloves, and you boil that up, and you're going to steam a beautiful smell into your house. Doesn't that sound fantastic? Mm, right. All right, we have a venison conference going over there in the kitchen. Um, now you guys were in rent together, right? This is Adam Pascal and Jesse L. Martin. Yes. Yes. How long were you in rent together on Broadway in London? Forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Was like two, was was I in rent? Two years and some change. <laughs> I was like, I Bobby was in Blaine, rent. starring in rent. Oh it was about two God. years. Two years and some change, you know, a little bit more than that. Total. Can you sing us a song about venison? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Very... <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. No venison song. No venison okay. song. <laughs> We're making sweet potatoes over here. Okay. So we have some sweet potatoes that we've cooked. We peeled them and we boiled them. And now we have, we put some maple syrup, mm. a little bit of butter. You want the, you know, the sweet potatoes to be a little hot. A little bit of butter. And now you're going to put some of that chipotle peppers, which is, they're like, they're like, uh, smoked jalapenos, which is exactly what they are. Are they really hot? They, they're fiery and smoky. Fiery and smoky. But we have the maple. <laughs> fiery and smoky. But you have the maple syrup in there, mm. and the sweet potatoes are naturally sweet. So and fries so. are ready. <laughs> <laughs> For you. All right, take this masher over here. We're going to mash it Go ahead. Up. Go to work. Yeah. All right. Now, now I get to do so. something. Something for Adam. Yes, sir. I know Adam has good knife skills. I have some decent skills. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to let you start to cut the venison. Now what you want to do is. I'll start one for you. Okay. But you just want to go right in between each bone. Okay. See? Oh That's my exactly God. what you want. Just make, you know, like four chops, just like that. Wow. And then when you're done, just put them, you know, layer them right, right on this plate. Okay. Okay? Bobby, how, you how over should here? you Good. cook venison? Medium say, rare, medium? You know, medium rare is probably the way I would like to eat venison. You don't want to overcook venison because there's very little fat in it. Right, Frank? Dry out. Exactly. Okay. You don't want to do that. Otherwise, don't buy venison. You can buy... Mutton. Right. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> See, look, look at this. Adam's got, he, he's got the kind of like fanned 
uh, what do you call that, technique there. This be see, that's actually perfect, just like that. Gorgeous. That's what you want to say. That's your public school education coming up. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I would do, since that's good, too. Look at how... Good job in the mashing. I can mash stuff. Look at that. Yes, you're the man. All right, here. It's all orange. <laughs> all right, here. Now, take the wooden spoon. I'll take this from you. All right. And we're going to let you put this right on the plate. You know, we're going to serve this kind of family style. Mm. Wow. Right here. Very nice. They got, Jesse, we've known each other for... A long ever. time. ...ever. Uh, we, God, since we were struggling and working in restaurants, I'm surprised you didn't learn to cook kind of, you know... There's nothing wrong with working in restaurants, by the no, way. No, I know. <laughs> not at all. But, not at I mean, all. we were on the other... We, we had chefs going, pick up, pick up. We, we didn't have chefs making stuff. <laughs> no, I didn't have any pretending to be one. There That's right. You go. Jackie, pick up! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to say that for so long. <laughs> Took my line. All right, so now we're going to take our cranberry sauce. We have the venison, we have the sweet potatoes. Take a little parsley, just sprinkle this right on top. Oh. Hey, look at that. And then we're going to take our cranberry mm -hmm. sauce and just spill it right over. Don't cover the whole venison, though. The whole venison. Here it is, the whole venison. All right, now, I'm gonna get a little fancy here. Take, uh, why don't we take, uh, Adam, grab those, that cilantro oil and some red chili yeah, oil good. and just kind of like... Yeah, are you sure you're trusting me with just that? Just like here, 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 yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, exactly. Beautiful. Look at the colors. It's gorgeous. Look at the colors of this. Look at the colors. Nice sheen. We've got the orange, we have the pink, we that have the cranberries. It's like a holiday thing going on. You know, it is kind of a holiday thing. It's the cranberries. It's the, that's right. Reminiscent that's what it is. It's the cranberries that's Christmas. bringing it up. And also, you know, sweet potatoes. You, you, did you, uh, you, have, you have a lot of experience eating sweet potatoes? I do, I have a lot of experience. We <laughs> never whipped, though. Never whipped? Never, no. Really? My mom wasn't into the whipped thing. Like baked? Yeah. Baked sweet potatoes, yeah. just kind of eat them with some oh, butter yeah. and all that? Yeah. See, I love sweet, I love sweet potatoes anyway. We make tamales with them, we eat them whipped, we eat them baked, every way. All right, stay tuned, everybody. These guys help me out, we're ready to eat, so stay tuned right here, oh, hot off the yeah. grill. Oh, yeah. Did it. See, you, you can give me a, that's a venison dance, but you couldn't give me a venison song. You know what? I know you guys want to make this recipe at home, so grab a pencil, because at the end of the show, we're going to tell you how you can. You're watching Hot Off The Grill with Bobby Flay. Thank you. into our whipped sweet potato, mm. our venison with our Mexican oh. cinnamon and cranberry sauce. We have Adam Pascal, <laughs> yeah, we have Jesse L. Martin, and we have Bobby Flay. Let's dig into this, guys. Yes. Now, you guys were touring Rent in London, or yes. it was the West End version of, of Rent. That's right. What was the food like in England? It was, a, it was a little tough at times, but we found some good places. Great Actually, sushi. Actually, she cooked a lot. And I cooked a lot. You're and, kidding. Uh, and my wife, Isabel, you know, she cooked a lot, too. I didn't know Isabel was in London. She, she was. She was there for about, uh, about uh, a month. Saved my life. Very yeah. nice. Literally. So what do you think of this, guys? So Wait, yeah. Hey. What? Hello? Um, Excuse me. Co-host is hungry. Cream. Oh, goodness. Take stuff. Yes. Thank you the butcher, everyone. Sweet potatoes, Thank a little you. maple, a little chipotle, a little hot, a little mm -hmm. sweet thing mm -hmm. working there. Awesome. Thank you. The cranberries look so pretty, too, on top of the venison. Hey, let me wow. ask you this. Yeah. With venison, what kind of wine would you drink? That's a great question. Because we didn't talk about that. Actually, I would like, like a Zinfandel for this. Me too. Well, we're on the same page. Sort of Ooh, like Zinfandel. A... Zinfandel? Red Zinfandel. Zin... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's ordering. <laughs> okay. This you is know, good. Red Zinfandel has like a sort of an inky, grapey kind of uh, nice texture legs, and flavor to it. Nice legs, I would say. Talus Red Zinfandel nice from Oregon or Gosh. Ravenswood Red Zinfandel. It'd be like smoky and... Wow. Look at these guys back here. How's it going, Tara? You all right? You good? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. That's where my plate went. Doesn't taste gamey. I'm sorry, Jackie. Thank Take you. Some Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. You're welcome. I have to tell you a story about Vanity. Go ahead. The first time I ever had it, okay, yeah, please. I bit into a piece of buckshot. Ooh. You're kidding. I swear to God. You know what you do for that? You put a little honey on it, makes it nice and sweet, you'll be fine. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. For Jackie Maloof, I'm Bobby Flay. Jesse Adam Thank in the you. house. Thanks for being here. Bye -bye. See you later, guys. Mm. Bye. Ready, set, cook with host Sissy Biggers is...